This is Rich Steves, web editor at TMC. I'm here in sunny Austin, Texas for IT Expo West 2012. Joining me now is Seth Bostock, EVP of Vis Business Development and Strategy at Independence IT. Seth, welcome. Uh, thanks, Rich. Happy to be here. Great. So I understand you have an announcement uh, that you brought here? Yes, so we just announced actually on Monday this, uh, this week that um, Team Logic IT, the national franchise of MSPs, actually has selected Independence IT's platform, the Cloud Workspace, to deliver uh, the cloud solutions uh, nationwide, make them available to their franchise locations. Great. So, super excited about it. Absolutely, it is an exciting uh, development. So, what is it, what's the value proposition for Independence IT? Why were you selected? So, we work with the channel, we're a channel only company, and we help our partners deliver what we call the complete cloud workspace. It's a virtual desktop experience with entire IT infrastructure on the back end. We're able to offer our channel partners either the platform if they have a data center of their own or the workspace as a service that they can then brand and sell to their end users directly. But we don't leverage third party, um, other third party virtualization software programs or tools. We've actually built all of our own um, product and software. So it makes it uh, not only more cost effective, but uh, just more flexible in the approach that we take with our partners. So cloud obviously is a big buzz term that we hear a lot about and I feel sometimes it's a little bit overused or underused. <laughs> yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about your cloud platform and, and what the functionality is. Sure, so we have um, two different platforms. The first part, the part of our, um, our product line, which is VCD, uh, that platform is actually a dashboard that allows our channel partners to be able to quote, order, and manage, um, really provision users. It connects with the PSA systems as well as um, we'll allow them to, ultimately, we're going to be releasing an update soon that will allow them to manage third-party um, cloud applications. What our other platform, which is really sort of our main focus, is the cloud workspace. And that is uh, a virtual, de virtual desktop um, uh, product that actually has an entire uh, infrastructure. A lot of times when people think of uh, virtual desktop, they think of whether it's VDI or just, just the desktop experience. We actually deliver the entire experience with the partner to the end user. So everything from our software actually helps them uh, be able to set up file folders and work groups and security groups and all of those types of things. Tasks that took uh, the, channel, the channel basically um, time, lots of time and energy is now done with our software and our automation uh, platform to be able to do very quickly and rapidly. So for instance, our channel partners can rapidly deploy a full cloud desktop solution for a customer with under, in under five minutes with our express ordering platform. Wow, under five minutes, that's got to be impressive. So, so is that um, speed of use something that is very appealing to your partners? It is. So speed of use, flexibility in terms of the offering overall, um, the ability to actually have control over their cloud is the key. See, our philosophy is all about, it's, you know, if you're the partner, it's your customer, your price, it's just our platform. So we're there to support you, and you can have all of the control in terms of managing the environment. And that's, that's really what we do. So not only is it quick, but it's very efficient in terms of things that we help them do. You talk about control. When you're talking to your channel partners and you're talking about the end users, um, what are some of the barriers to cloud adoption that you're finding in, in for the end users? Sure, it's a, it's a great question, Rich. So for the end user, a lot, of, a lot of those customers are nervous about moving something from their closet <laughs> to, as you said, the cloud, which is a big unknown. So you know, what we work with basically is our partners to help educate them in terms of what basically what that migration could look like, how, how it actually can be more safe if it's not just sitting in their closet, and ultimately, um, you know, then they can feel comfortable about that. But that is usually, um, it's a fear of the unknown, it's a fear of security risk, those types of things. But once an uh, end customer is actually educated to understand that those fears are actually misplaced and that there's probably more safety in having a uh, server, or, you know, your, inf your infrastructure and your environment in the, in the cloud, in that an employee, if they're disgruntled, can't walk away with your server, they can't destroy it, they can't do any of those things, or if you have a fire or any of that, um, even if you have remote backup, you're still gonna experience days or potentially weeks of, of downtime, versus if you have your entire environment in a cloud setup where you have redundancy, um, you basically could never, ever lose productivity. By the way, I'm, I think I'm going to start using that in the closet versus in the cloud. That's, <laughs> that's actually that's a, a great line. Phrase, I yeah. like it. <laughs> I'll make sure to credit you for that. So, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so not only are we dealing with uh, more flexibility and uh, cost savings, but the uh, additional security as well. Yeah, I think, I think uh, to your point about cost savings, that's to me a point that often gets put out there related to cloud services. And while, yes, that's true, I think there's so much more beyond that in terms of 
the, the security elements in terms of reaching compliance, a lot of states have adopted significant laws with um, personal identifiable information and what is supposed to happen and how you protect that. And it's just very, very hard for a local business to actually be able to you know, basically protect and deliver a solution internally that would comply. And so if you move to a cloud solution, you do you get that compliance and you also get the ability to scale. And, and we see that more and more with our partners is that their customers are coming and saying, gosh, I've just added a, you know, more employees or I've or you have another location and then they need to look at another capital expense. And with the cloud, you have that elasticity of being able to scale up, scale down. It's very flexible. And so while price is a great point, the flexibility, again, the control you have and, and, and really your overall business strategy of terms of what you're going to spend and everything else, um, it, it's also very important. So obviously cloud is a term that we talk about a lot. You had a great announcement this week, but here at IT Expo we like to look forward. So sure. what can you tell us about either the future of the, of the space or uh, the future for your company in particular? Sure, so I think, um, I mean I'll be happy to talk about the industry as a, in general. I think we're going to continue to see uh, adoption from the end user in terms of wanting more than just a silo approach of a cloud service. Today you see a lot of SaaS delivery of just one application maybe a hosted exchange, those types of things. I think you'll continue to see the migration to a product like ours, which is providing all of the applications and everything that a customer needs in one place with one partner to basically be able to manage that. So I think we're going to see that evolution continue. Great. Well, Seth, thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Great. Thanks, Rich. All right. All right. Yeah, Perfect. Thank you. Great. You all were right, great on you. camera. So. <laughs> well, thank you.